When the pulp has been prepared in the TMP line, it has been finalized with chemicals and fillers according to the recipe and is screened for the last time. The pulp is then diluted with water and then it is pumped into a deaerator to separate air bubbles in the pulp. Now the pulp is ready to be transformed to paper in the paper machine. When the pulp reaches the head box, the pulp consists of 1% fibres and 99% water. The pulp is pumped in between two forming fabrics. The fabrics are woven in a special pattern from thin polyester threads. All this is done at a speed of 100 kilometres an hour, which equals 2,000 litres a second. The head box contains 130 jets to ensure that the pulp is spread evenly over the forming fabrics. The wire section consists of a bottom wire and a top wire, and there are multiple suction boxes, which helps to reduce the water from the pulp. The fibers stay on the surface of the fabrics while the water is drained through. About 3,300 tons of water is removed every hour. The fiber web is finished when the two fabrics are separated over the couch roll and cannot be moved anymore. Due to the high speed of the machine, this only takes fractions of a second. When entering the press section, the paper web has a dryness of around 20%, so it still contains 80% water. To increase the dryness, the paper web is compressed between two felts in the press nip. When the pressure is released, the felts suck water from the web like a sponge. This is repeated in two more press nips. The last press nip is called a shoe press, where the pressure time is extended. This increases the dryness more than a felted roll nip. After the press section, the dryness is around 50%. The drying section is the longest part of the paper machine and consists of 31 steam-heated cylinders that slowly dry the paper to its final moisture content of 7 to 8%. The cylinders are heated with steam created earlier in the refiners and has a temperature of 135 degrees Celsius. Throughout the drying section, the web is supported by drying fabrics. The moisture evaporates when the web turns around the heated rolls. The dryer is covered by a hood and the evaporated steam is heat exchanged before the low energy steam is let out over the roof. After the dryer, the paper has reached its final moisture content of about 7 to 8%. But the paper has a rough surface and the profile across the machine is not optimized. To optimize the paper quality after the drying section, the paper gets to the calendar. The PM53 has a 10 roll calendar with nine nips. Four of the rolls are thermo rolls, which can be heated up to 260 degrees Celsius by steam heated oil. The heated rolls make the paper smooth and glossy. The caliper is also adjusted to the desired level. To secure the right quality, the machine has an online measuring system. QCS that measures brightness, grammage, caliper, shade and ash content both in cross direction and machine direction. It takes around 30 seconds for the measuring head to move across the machine. A web inspection system detects holes and stains which can be patched or removed from the paper. The paper is wound onto a jumbo reel, a so-called tamor where up to 100,000 metres of paper can be wound and weighs about 40 tonnes. It takes about one hour to produce a full tambour of paper, but it only takes 15 seconds to get the paper through the paper machine from the head box to the jumbo reel. The last step is the winder, where the jumbo reel is cut into smaller reels. The reels are cut into customer specifications in respect of diameter, width per reel, and the number of reels or tons. After wrapping, the reels are ready to be sent to customers around the world.